Welcome back with the Big South title an FCS playoff berth and a playoff win. It was a season to remember for Liberty University football and it's no doubt the beginning of a special era. Here now is a look at the people who have helped take the Liberty football program from its humble beginnings to another level. Training champions for Christ. It's the vision for Liberty University from its founder, Dr. Jerry Falwell. And the goal for college football? To compete at the highest level. It's our plan to have our athletic program comparable to USC, to Notre Dame, to Alabama, to anybody in time. My father was a big Green Bay Packers fan back in those days. Vince Lombardi was the coach that everybody looked up to, and so I became a Packers fan. I played football myself, and I was on the sidelines at Liberty's first football game, 1973. I remember it, um, sitting in the stands, they were playing Ferrum College, and it, the lead went back and forth. It was an exciting game, and I remember sitting there praying, Lord, please let these guys win. It's their first game. I feel sorry for them. <laughs> it, they ended up not winning. While the Flames didn't win that day, Jerry Falwell Jr. had embraced his father's vision, but it would take time and they would need a talented athletic director, like SEC veteran Jeff Barber. Well, I think God uh, orchestrated the whole thing. Uh, the background that I've had in this business was really ideally suited for what Liberty needed at this moment. When Dr. Falwell called and I came up, God gave me and my wife a very strong peace that this was the right thing to do. He had worked in some big programs. He, he really had a real vision for what he wanted to see happen here at Liberty. He had an eye for how he thought the facility should look. So he and I have enjoyed working together. We've um, met with numerous college presidents and sports commissioners, and we continue to do that. All of our programs would not be where they are now if it weren't for Jeff Barber. While an athletic director makes success in the field possible, it takes a gifted coach to raise a team to greatness. I told Jeff and everybody that our goal should be to find the best Christian college football coach in the country. And it seemed like everybody, every consultant we talked to, they all, it all came back to Turner Gill. Well, I think the vision is pretty clear. Uh, you know, you're, you're training champions for Christ. Uh, and you start from the scripture. You start from the Bible. Uh, so that was automatically already ingrained in me as a coach, no matter where I've been at a public institution or a private institution or a Christian institution, is that I'm going to be an example of Christ. I'm going to always start from where the Bible states of how we need to act, how we need to talk, and how we need to go about doing our business. Together, these three men have moved Liberty football forward at a rapid pace, but always with an eye on more than just football. I can freely speak about the scripture and talk about and give examples of what the scriptures are stating about how, how men need to be acting. Game of football uh, and also their academics, their spiritual side of it, the social side of it, and obviously the athletic side of it. I think winning for us is with student athletes is being successful in the classroom. Uh, we're not here just to play football or basketball or softball. You know, we're here to get an education. So also winning is graduating our student athletes and giving them a chance to go out into society and be successful. And then obviously, of course, winning is winning on the field, winning on the courts and being able to compete and do it as successfully as possible. Peterson. And the results of keeping faith and academics first. Breaks a tackle, touchdown. A Big South Conference championship against a number one opponent. Towards the east end zone here, Alex Catron. Snap good, spot good. Both blocked, it's blocked! Liberty wins it! Liberty blocked it! Oh my goodness! The Flames have done it! Liberty wins it! 15-14! Liberty University was rewarded with their first ever postseason FCS playoff game, featuring the high-octane offense of the James Madison Dukes. While they would be tested early, the Liberty Flames would show the heart of a champion and win the day. While Liberty has achieved so much this season, no one is ready to rest on these first time accomplishments. It's very special getting in the playoffs, but then to win your first year there, especially on the road against a very high quality team, uh, sends a very loud message. So we want to build on that. We want to go deeper and eventually win the national championship. When I hired everybody, I say, hey, our, our vision here is to inspire each other, to glorify Christ 
on and off the field while striving to be conference and national champion. That's our vision. I think what's, what's different about us is we have the potential to be the only program, conservative evangelical Christian school, playing at the highest levels of the NCAA, and that was the vision for Liberty from the beginning. So that's, that's, um, that's what our goal's always been. In Jesus' name, amen. Great to see that uh, old video yeah. with Jerry Falwell Sr. And starting to see his dream take shape. Liberty certainly on the rise with what they did this year. And this program has what it takes to compete at the FBS level. It's amazing when you think about it, just how far they've come in such a short period of time. You hear people talk about it, then you see those pictures and you hear people that were there describe what it was like. It's amazing how far they've come. And I love the fact, too, they're not satisfied. They know they can go a lot further. The, the future is so bright. It's going to be an exciting time. Absolutely.